Hey everyone, this is Stormy Cloud 21. You're not in Kansas anymore. You're on Pandora. So here we have Colonel Miles Corridge. There he is. Look at that. Look at those army pants, man. Military, military pants. Those are so, so cool, decorated. Um, it's got this gray shirt on, tank top. Uh, you can see that nice scar right there on the side of his head, the prominent one that he has in the movie. Scrolling up because this is a tall box. There's that, that uh, mask that helps him breathe the oxygen on and the uh, low gravity environment on uh, Pandora's different. Uh, look at the guns with the uh, accessories like they're firing. Um, down here you have different hands that he has and a coffee cup and a stand. So there's Miles. Also, man, this is a tall box, okay? So there's a side of the box like that. Moving around, I guess I should do it like that. The top, McFarland Toys. And there's his name again. Look at these. And then on the back, there he is in the amp suit, which I already have the amp suit that he goes in, number 11. So I'll have to stick him in there. But let's open this up and check it out. You're not in Kansas anymore. You're on Pandora. All right, so let's open this guy up, huh? Some muscle. Muscle, our military guy here. All right, so we're pulling him out. First of all, like that. See the stand still in there, so we gotta go in and get that out. All right, when I open up the packaging, there's the stand right there. Gotta take that out, pop it out like so. So first of all, here is Miles Corich, and he is a very cool figure. However, when you think about it, you're spending the same amount of money for this little human figure and all these accessories as you could get a giant Pandorian Navi figure. But nonetheless, still very cool. You might say you're getting less bang for your buck with this little guy compared to um, the Navi, which are like three times as t four times as tall. <laughs> so here's some articulation. So it's, it's solid. It's nice. It's easy to articulate. Um, and you got some swivel right there at the bicep. You've got his arm can move right there all the way around. Okay, I better do this right. I'm gonna break something. Okay, then here's at the wrist. And then, of course, you can go forward and back. So it's got some extreme nice articulation for a figure. Um, he's also got some, some, ooh, that's nice. Look at that. And then you can also go back and forth a little bit. Um, his head moves very easily all the way around if you wanted to do that and forward and back a little bit. Um, down here, okay, so the leg. Yeah, some good range of motion. Could he do the splits? Well, he could, but this inhibits him from doing that. But on this side, you can go about that far. You know, forward and back. Uh, he has a bend at the knee. Look at that. So you can bend the top part too, but it's going to take some work because the figure needs to be um, used a little more before you do anything too extreme and crazy in most cases. And then, of course, he has... Uh, swivel right there, uh, forward and back, 
And then he even has in the boot, you can even do that. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. So you can do that as well. So on to the accessories. Let's look at some accessories, shall we? First of all, you're going to have to be a little brave and pop his head off. Oh, he's headless. Now see here, you have this. His head's already in there. All you have to do is peg this on here. So yeah, peg that on there. And all of a sudden he's got his breathing apparatus and his uh, mask equipment to keep him breathing the oxygen that's on Pandora, which is different in the low gravity environment. Uh, you'd be dead in four minutes if he didn't do that. So that's a good thing. So now let's get some of his equipment. Oh, first of all, you get this giant gun. Here's the effect part. Pop that in there. Ay, yeah, yeah. There you go. Now you can shoot something. Let's do the little one too. Here's the little one. Here's the effect part for that. Just kind of twist it. There. There you go. Look at that. Cool stuff, huh? Other than that, you've got a little teeny tiny fist hand. Okay. You've got a grabber hand to hold something. And you've got the classic I'm pointing quarter inch hand. That finger looks a little weird, but yeah. And you've got the coffee cup. I assume there's coffee in there. Gotta have some strong coffee for the uh, battle, the big battles. There you go. It's not too hard to take his hand off. It's really easy, actually. Um, now, getting the right hand on, that's important. That is the fist where he's pretty mad about something. He's not happy. Um, also, pop this one off. That's easy. Put this one on. Okay, now you can hold a weapon in both hands if you do it that way. Here he is holding this gun in this hand. Uh, maybe we could do the other gun at the same time. Hang on. You can, but this hand is designed for a different purpose, the coffee cup, I think. So you really need the guns to be in that hand only. Um, either one, either or. So I think put the coffee cup in. There you go. Fire your gun and hold your coffee at the same time. But you might spill it from the recoil. Um, now I like this a lot. The only <laughs> That is the only downside of this figure so far. I mean, it's easy to change out the hand gear, but it comes off on a dime. You can put it back on super easy and it comes off super easy and it articulates very well. But the slightest pull and his hands will come right off. So I would have preferred that to be a lot stronger, but the articulation and the ease of it, you can't complain there, but you just have to know that his hands may pop off very easily with his hand accessories. Just be prepared for that one. Let's take this hand off. Let's put the trigger finger hand on. Okay, now let's put the smaller gun in this hand, okay? And upside is that you can take the hand off super easily and place the accessory in the hand and then just put the hand on. That would be an upside to this. See how easy that was? So, that is a good thing, actually, that will save you the struggle being able to take these off easily to put the uh, the weapons on. Um, so that is a good thing for this figure. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this hand off. I'm going to put the pointer finger on. <laughs> that looks really weird. Um, his finger looks a little long, but... <laughs> 
that brings us to the last thing I think I want to do here. I want to take this back off. I want to put this back on. That was super easy. Super, super easy. Um, I want to take this off for a second. I'll just have to pretend he's not on Pandora anymore because he's going to suffocate. Okay. I didn't break it. Don't worry. Hold on. Okay. Put his head back on. So now I have both of his, his hands back on. There's that, I didn't mention, that's his uh, tattoo right there of an eagle. Um, look at his scar too there, look at that. Okay, so now let's put the gun in the holster. Let's do that. There you go. See, the gun fits in the holster very nicely. And it's gonna stay in there too. Oh, that is very good. This is, I didn't show you the back, the back of the figure. Oh, see that hole there? I think the accessory for his head needs to probably go. Let's put his head back. Okay, I think what I needed to do was bring, yeah. Yeah, got it in. So... Has some writing on the back from the 2009 movie. So that's how it's supposed to go with the breathing apparatus. So just be aware. There you go. So it's overall, I'm glad I have it. It's a very nice figure, but I would complain about the hands coming off too easily. And I would complain about the uh, price point if I was going to complain at all. Um, being a little high for this figure should be like $5 less. But other than that, it's a pretty cool figure. So I'm going to have to draw out this video a little longer. You've seen this before when I did a review of the amp suit. This is a hand accessory from that. Um, and so really you need a lot of space for a video like this of an amp suit. Because this thing is tall and it has to be at least more than a foot away from the camera. Okay. Um, when you want to open up the, I know you've seen this video, but this is for Quaritch, remember, for Quaritch. So you want to stick this guy in here. And, and then you're going to close this up. You're gonna have to have them way back in the seat. Because if you don't have them way back in the seat, that's not gonna work. He barely fits in there, okay? I got him in there, but he is almost not designed to fit in there. He fits in there um, barely though, because when you close this, this bumps on his head, especially if he's forward, he needs to be back in his seat and even then it barely wants to close just keep that in mind without trying to make this video too terribly much longer i've got to pull off this accessory here and put this one on so he can hold his gun and then you need to swivel the feet out like this one foot to keep your balance and it's really hard to show on camera um, this stuff because the placement makes it where it like blocks your view and stuff for the shot. But that's kind of like how the, um, the gun would be held like this. You can't really tell like that. And there's Corrish in his amp suit just like that, which is sold separately, by the way. Last of all for this video, and you can't forget this, he comes with a stand. Um, you could peg in either foot. I'd say this foot would be the better one it's on this side. And there you go. You've got your core rich on a stand. Here we have Quaritch trying to do the limbo. <laughs> you 
Man, this gravity is tough on Tandora. All right, in conclusion. So I'm gonna say overall, great figure, worth it. The price point is a little high, but once you have this figure, you won't regret because it's a very nice figure to have. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. I wanna thank you for watching this review. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching and talk soon.